So as stated, goats don't like water. So she is trying to stay in the barn. And I brought her some leftover branches from last night. I used my extension this winter. This is January in Louisiana. And as you see, my goats have really cleaned up my yard. I was completely overrun by underbrush, overbrush, everything. So <coughs> we used the ladder to get up as high as we could, all the trees. And now I have my extension, well, I'm using my 16, 17 foot extension pole to get the high branches. So yesterday I used my extension pole and cut big branches from there and I could go much higher it needs to trim anyway um, so not as wet right now so she'll eat that she has hay in there she has oats and grains in there and uh, I'll bring her some more fruits and vegetables out later and that's the leftover leaves from yesterday and um, like I said I'll come out a little later and cut her some more branches down so she could graze because remember they're stuck in the barn goats love to graze so you have to give them something to do it's not just for food and nourishment but it's an activity and that's why i put them out there on the fence and on the ground because she like they like to do that's a part of their nature to climb to forage so they like that i even put um branches in the stalls up high up on the door and the gate divider so that she could jump up and forage and they like that in the morning time the branches are click um bare they're bare um so anyway that's what's going on let me get out of here i am late for church very late i washed out my two water containment things and now they're washed out over and over I wasted all that water and look, look the rain has pretty much stopped it's down to some drippings from the trees um, this is a low lying area and it's completely leveled by water. I forgot and stepped a foot in there, forgetting that that, that was um, the base of a pecan tree. And it's still a big hole there. So you can also see here the chicken run is going to be where the first set of woods are, where the containment bucket is, containment barrel. And then the second set is going to be, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, a wood panel fence. To keep the goat out of the chicken run because you see that's just too much temptation for her so that would be a wood panel fence to keep her from buffing in the chicken run to get feed <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and i'll have a gate here as well so it'll be a door gate to get in here and then i'll have a gate over there as well to get in and you'll be able to get into the chicken coop from the side um as well so looking forward to that. So many projects on the homestead. Okay, guys, and you can see all the bubbles from the soap on the ground here. And I did it up next to the house as well. But I just washed them out really, really good with the water hose. No chemicals on these because, again, these will probably be just used for water in the gardens. And uh, when I have more time and pick up more barrels, I'll clean them out more thoroughly so that they could be our drinking water. I already have um, the barrels in the front of my house. Wait, where are they? All right, as you were. Where is my other? Oh, in the, yeah, it's in the front. I have a big black barrel in the front of the house, and I have a green one here in the back of the house for our drinking water. But I'll get some more. Okay, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. Keeping my video short today. Have a wonderful day. Happy homesteading. And remember, this is just my scope on my acre of land, or half or less than an acre of land. So I don't know. You're... you're your um reality of homesteading could be completely different and again i am single homesteaded i am on a fixed income uh, low income homesteading so this is not uh oh hey i'm this high tech person making all this money and i'm homesteading no this is a very very meager income that i'm doing this on um and i'm doing it semi full time with again homeschooling uh trying to work in between and house chores and errands and doctor's appointments and all of that so this is my version of homesteading at my pace okay so maybe yours could be a completely different than mine it's completely different so don't let this discourage you don't let it discourage you but anyway i just want to show you <laughs> hi shirley i just wanted you to see that goats 
uh, are not um, a fan phase of rain. So she will stay in there because she doesn't want to walk through that puddle. And that is why I have to build a floor to my barn and build a walkway. I will raise this up, get a few yards of dirt and raise this up. And then I'm going to build a bridge, I think, across here. And then she can just walk out on the raised floor straight out.